Hello everyone, welcome back to Rotor Dynamics 101. Today we'll explore the bearing configuration and oil system of a steam turbine. These are critical components that ensure smooth operation and longevity. The turbine rotor is supported by journal bearings located at each end of the steam turbine. Maintaining their proper alignment is crucial because the clearances between the rotating and stationary components are extremely tight. Additionally, a thrust bearing positioned alongside the journal bearing at the governor pedestal secures the shaft in place and prevents any unwanted axial movement. Why is this important? In a single cylinder steam turbine, the steam flow naturally pushes the rotor towards the generator. Without a mechanism to counteract this force, the rotating blades could come into contact with the stationary blades, leading to catastrophic damage. To prevent this, a fixed collar on a shaft is held in place by a lubricated thrust bearing. During assembly and maintenance, these thrust pads are set to ensure precise clearance between moving and stationary parts. Since the turbine casing expands when heated by steam, allowances must be made for this thermal growth. In a single cylinder turbine like this, the standard practice is to anchor the machine firmly at the low pressure exhaust end. It is on the right side of this video. This allows the front pedestal to move forward as the casing thermally expands which is on the left side of this video. On larger machines, the thermal expansion can exceed an inch, which is about 25 millimeter. To accommodate this movement, the front pedestal is often mounted on a flexible support or sliding feet. These features ensure that the machine can expand freely without causing mechanical stress or misalignment. Another critical support system essential to turbine operation is the lubrication oil system. Let's take a closer look at how the lubricating system functions. A continuous flow of oil is circulated through all turbine and generator bearings. Typically, the lubrication oil supply header is maintained at around 50 psi, ensuring a steady flow of oil to the bearings, including the thrust bearing. 50 PSI is equal to 3.4 bar. After passing through the bearings, the oil returns to the main reservoir, creating a closed loop system. However, additional design considerations are required to keep the system running efficiently. First, cooling is essential. As oil passes through the bearings, it absorbs heat and raises in temperature. Without cooling, the oil in the reservoir would overheat, reducing its effectiveness. To prevent this, oil coolers typically of the shell and a tube type are installed along the supply pass. Most systems include two coolers, allowing one to be taken out of service for maintenance without disrupting operations. It is important to note that the gradual heating of the oil in the tank serves an additional purpose. It helps evaporate any moisture that may have entered the system. To remove this moisture, a vapor extractor is fitted at the top of the tank, venting water vapor and other gases, which might infiltrate the oil system from the generator's cooling system. Also, contamination remains a major concern. Oil circulating through the system can pick up the fine metal particles and debris, which could damage bearings if left unchecked. To combat this, most lubrication systems incorporate filtration, ranging from internal mesh screens to external cartridge filters. Maintaining oil purity is essential for reliable turbine operation, which is why routine oil sampling and analysis are conducted typically on a monthly or bi-monthly basis. Given the turbine reliance on a continuous oil supply, a standby pump is always on a standby, 
ready to activate automatically if needed. But this raises an important question. What happens if auxiliary AC power is lost? Imagine a turbine trip in a facility without a backup station power. Without oil circulation, the bearings could suffer severe damage as the machine coasts down. To prevent severe damage on bearings, many turbines are equipped with a DC emergency oil pump powered by batteries. This backup pump ensures that lubrication continues even in power failure conditions, protecting critical components and preventing costly damage. This is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.